What's up, guys? Rob Kuhn here. And in light of all the heads-up matches between like Matt Berkey and Doug Polk versus everybody, I decided to do a deep dive into all the previous heads-up matches, and I found a hand that really stood out to me. This hand becomes unhinged, to say the least. Like this is some, this is some gangster poker that we're about to see. Without spoiling, let's get in this hand because it's a wild one. Carol gets it done. That was a mistake. Yeah. Just for reference, this is the high stakes stool. This is a hundred thousand dollar format with escalating blinds. So the next match will be two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, one point six million, etc. If it gets that high, um, this is round two. Blinds are two fifty five hundred. As Fondiari makes it eleven hundred on the button, and Helmuth decides to call with Ace three of clubs. Of course, he can three bet if he wants, but calling is definitely fine as well. All of this is normal until it's not. Stay tuned. Help me with defense. The suited baby ace. Check. Check, check, check. More dark checking. And his turn to look up at a paired board with ace high. 1800. Snap, check, raise, three xing. Right. Just does. Action checks to ask Fondiari, who bets 600. And this is definitely a sizing you want to use because you get to bet most of your reigns on the Jack Jack 4. The big blind simply is going to have a lot of hands like, you know, 9 7 off. We get to deny equity from by betting. So you bet a lot and you bet a lot to a small size. Now, this is where things become unhinged. Helmuth decides to check raise for apparently no reason, basically representing a Jack. Perhaps he thinks ace high is good, but it doesn't really accomplish anything. Just call, see a turn, go from there, unless you're worried about being outplayed or something. Now, if it was Jack-Jack-4 with the four of clubs, and at least you have the additional backdoor flush draw equity, it would be a little bit better, but still a pretty low frequency play and something you would still want to just lean to call. With that said, Esfandiari decides to float with eight high, and I have absolutely no clue what's happening at this point because... Well, you have a lot better hands to call with. You have a lot of pairs. You have a lot of jack X yourself. You have some fours in, you know, in your range. Like, why are we getting in there with 8-5 off? I have no clue what's happening. does not go away a lot of the time. Well, he's in position, and you know. Position's valuable lesson. I mean, it is. Um, but this, of course, speaks for itself. Got 32. Got straight draw picked up courtesy of the 7. He's still the best hand and still barreling here. And I mean, listen, if you want to tell the tale, if you're Antonio, having outs is lovely. He has some now. I think it's time. Can't wait too long with just 8 high. Might we have some otherworldly sniff here, Ali? I mean, Ace high, it beats all of the nonsense. Oh, Antonio has declared but I have a jack. I think the clubs are nice suits to have too because we, we wanna, we want Antonio to have back doors on the flop of which the clubs don't interfere with, but I mean, still just ace three on jack, jack four. He called a check raise, now he's raising turn. I mean, and the prospect would be to fold. of the inflated riverbed if we do make this call. Yeah, right. A, a guy who goes for the inflated river bed a lot. So it's not just now. And we can't sort of take too much time. But he's Bizarre hand. doing this with a jack, so I don't think it's a huge deal yet. Meaning he could continue here with a call, and it, he's not just totally revealing that he has nothing. But I think... Well, let's just see. I mean, he's fooled us at a lot of turns before. 29,000? Wow. Oh, my. You know, I... Wow. I did feel like perhaps the cape was going to be donned here. Do we have any duality of capes here? Because, I mean, he hasn't folded yet, Ali. There's a little bit of street poker out here in the desert right now, buddy. I mean... If Antonio piles, uh, pre I think, pre, I think pi I leave pre the booth. pile, we're still in the street. Yeah, me too. Is he calling? Oh. Wow, what a hand! 
Whoa. And like Shulman says it, what a hand we have indeed. There's a lot to unpack here. Look, Helmuth decides to bet the turn to 3,200 into like 5,800, betting with ace high for apparently, you know, seemingly no reason. Esfandiari decides to raise with his gut shot, and I actually like this play quite a bit. Helmuth decides to three bet the flop to 29,000, which I have no, I, I don't know what's going on anymore, all right? This is just some street poker. This is just two good old boys just playing poker. There's no ranges. There's nothing that exists. There's no theory here. This is just clicking it and praying. The only part of this hand I like is Esfandiari raising the turn, as I think he might raise a lot of his jack X on the turn, and even then he probably doesn't raise it that often. So with that said, Helmut clicks it back, and then Esfandiari just decides to call with his gut shot. Now, he's obviously calling with the intention of taking it away on the river, knowing that Helmuth probably will back out. But Helmuth is, Helmuth is kind of capable of, you know, making some very obscure bluffs, as we can see here. Um, yeah. I'm not going to bring up any charts here. You know, this is, uh, this is we got a click war going on. If, if you didn't know these players, you would think this is a 1-2 game. Let's carry on. Oh. Wow, what a hand. Whoa. A check in the dark. 63,800 wow, and wow. a dark check wow. as Helmuth hits the ace. Yes, an ace is a good. Terrific card for him. An okay river. Provided um, he's not up against the jack. Volume. Antonio. Well, of course. Very nonchalantly says All In. Cannot win the pot with eight high. Of course. By the way, that nonchalance that you just alluded to uh, is something. In. I mean, he, he did it pretty, pretty smoothly, but I mean, I think for Phil at this point, We, listen, it's not that easy when you're out there, you know? I mean, this is this is just really an incredible hand. That, that this is for be, the match. Will be rewatched again. Yeah, of course. I mean, action checks to Antonio, who decides to go all in, which is very clearly the obvious play with eight high. And now it's on Phil Helmuth. What would you guys do in the comment section below? Would you call? Would you fold? Let me know below. And while you're down there, click the sub button. It's free, helps the channel grow. Anyway, with that said, I don't know. I mean, Esfandiari has taken the line of having a jack the entire way. Like, in fact, I don't see how he can't have a jack at this point. He bet the flop, called your raise, raised the turn, called your three bet, and now shoves the river. Like, what else can he have besides a jack? I have no clue how he has 8-5 in this situation. Of course, we can see the cards. But if you don't see the cards, you would, you know, 99% of you would say he has a jack in his spot. Maybe he can have like five, six suited or something like that. But this is not easy. And Helmuth has to be thinking about this line taken. Of course, they probably have a lot of history. I haven't seen Antonio play that that much to know how to, how out of line he can possibly get. Because this hand is, well, quite frankly, very, very unhinged. Let's see what Helmuth does. In Helmuth's mind, you're Hi. wrong, you're done. Yeah, a little bit bravo to both guys. I mean, they, they, they both sort of sniffed it out. And you said it what feels like a long while back. I'll leave position. He is in position. And there are some benefits to being in position. I call. And he does. Wow. Play. You win. Bravo, Phil. Wow. God, you're just so. It's unbelievable. 30,000, 32,000, wow. 34,000, 25. Yes! Wow. I was moving in if the ace doesn't come. 31. I had you on five six. I had you on five, some kind of straight yeah, draw, and I'm, I got a call. Genius when you see the cards. I haven't seen your hand. Uh, you, I call, you called and I had nothing. How many said he was going to move all in on the river, but he checked in the dark if the ace didn't come. So him saying that makes zero sense to me. I don't know. Anyway, he makes the correct call and uh, yeah, scoops the pot, and I think he ends up winning this match in the entire round. So like always on this channel. You got to take the good and the bad with Helmuth, and uh, yeah, he ends up winning this one. So, hopefully, you guys like this analysis. Much love. Baby, you give.